And this is our GIF animation, which is working really well, and it was done in real time using the camera. Of course, you can do this using not only the camera, but also a video file or different images that you have in a folder. Hi there, my name is Sergio, and I help companies, students, and freelancers to easily and efficiently apply visual recognition to their projects. We're going to see today GIFs animation and we're going to see how to create them with Python and OpenCV. GIF, which stands for Graphics Interchange Format, is a really popular type of images that can contain animation. And they're really popular because they're really useful in a really, uh, just in one image you can put a really short video and also it takes really little memory. So that's why they are so popular. You can send them via WhatsApp, Messenger, or you can put them on the web. And right now we're going to see easily how to create them starting from frames. We will see this in real time. I will use the camera. We'll take frames from the camera and we'll put them inside a GIF. I'm going to explain each single line of the code so that if you want, you can adapt this uh, to achieve whatever you want, either to use this from a video or from a different, uh, different types of images. So if you're ready, let's start. Uh, before starting, you need to know that we need two libraries to create our project with GIF animations. The first one is OpenCV and let's quickly see how to install OpenCV. So I'm going to open the terminal CMD, command prompt, and on the command prompt, we need to type the command pip install, then OpenCV-Python. And this command is the same whether you are on the Mac or on Linux, same command as this one. And then you press enter. I'm not going to do that because I already have OpenCV and this is the first. But anyway, for more information and instructions, I will put the link on my blog below in the description. So you can click there and you will have uh, more information regarding installation as well and everything that we will see after this. And uh, source code as well will be on the blog post. Then the second library is going to be image.io, pip install image.io. And then you press enter. In my case, I have the image I already installed. In your case, you, you will see probably the installation if you don't have that one already. Once we have the libraries to make sure that they're working correctly, you need to open your terminal uh, for Python. Then let's import CV2, let's import image.io, and we run the code. And if you don't get any error, it means that the installation is done correctly. Now, how do we proceed uh, to create our GIF animations? Well, we're going to proceed in two steps. The first step will be using OpenCV, and on the first step, we're going to collect the images. Then th that's all the first step, collecting the images. The second step will be using the images that we collected, save them, creating a GIF animation. So let's start with the first step. First step, let me put a comment. So uh, get images. And there are a few ways to get the images. Either you have multiple images or in my case, in this example, we're going to get them from a video. So I will use the webcam and we will get frame after frame from the webcam. Let's do that. I'm going to load first of all the camera cap equals cv2.video capture. And now I index here, we need to put a number. We put either zero, it's, it's for the first webcam, one for the second, uh, two for the third and so on. So if you, you have only one webcam, you need to go with zero. I have two webcams, so I'm using the second one for this project and I will use one. Then, now that we have the webcam, let's take the frame from the webcam in real time. So we say red frame equals cap dot read. And then let's show the frame. So I want to show you that this is working. CV2.im show. Now this is uh, how we display the frame on OpenCV. We can call the window 
uh, as we want let's say this frame and then what do we want to show on the window we want to show frame and we put frame right here now on OpenCV we need a wait key event to keep the image on hold so I will run this one quickly and you will see what is happening right now uh, it takes some time to get the webcam okay you see the frame opens and then it quits because on OpenCV we need to have a wait key event that keeps the image on hold until we press a key cv2.wait key 0 and let's run this again this is the first frame we have this frame from the webcam of course now i press a key and now the program finished the execution the idea will be by creating a GIF that we have multiple frames so that we can create a short animation. So how can we get multiple frames? Well, we can use a, a while loop. So instead of having only one frame, we want to use cap.read multiple times. And we can do that with a while loop. While true. And we put now everything inside the while loop. And let's now run this one. Now we have the first frame. I'm going to press a key and we have another frame. So of course it's a while loop, it's never going to end. So each time I press the key, we get a new frame. And this is a really simple way to get the frames. And that was my goal. And we're almost done with the first step. Now the idea, of course, we are getting the frame and we need to save the frames somewhere if we want to create the animation. So the idea now is to save the frame somehow. So to store the frames that, so that later we can create the GIF. And I have a simple way to do that. And it's this one. We create an empty array called uh, frames before the loop. Each time that we find a frame that we want to save, we can put a command to save the frame. Let me give you an example. Here we have we get the frame, we show the frame and here is waiting for us to press a key. When we press the key, it starts again. Instead, we can add an extra function. We can say key equals cv2.wait key zero. So each time that we press a key, we can do some action. And the nice thing about the cv2.wait key function is that it tells us also which key we are exactly pressing. So for each key that we press, we can do some different action. Uh, for example, we can say if the key, and now we choose the key. Let's say if we press the letter A on the keyboard, we want to add uh, that image to the GIF animation. So if key equals or and then letter A, in this case, we want to add the frame. So frames dot append, and then we append what? We want to append this frame. Um, if the key is uh, some something else, let's say that we also need a key to quit the program, uh, we can say a leaf, the key is or letter Q, it means that we want to quit and then in this case we break the loop. Um, let's now test this in real time and later also we want to show how many images we are saving for the GIF animation. Uh, we can check that at the end by printing print images uh, added and then we can check the length of this array. We check length of frames. And uh, let's now run this one and test this, how it's working. So this is the first image. Let's say that I want to skip this one. 
To skip an image, uh, we can press any key that it's different from A or Q. So I press, for example, the space bar and I'm skipping the image. Let's say that, that now I press letter A and now again I press letter A and now one more time letter A. And now I'm going to press space bar a few times. So I press letter A three times. So if everything is correct, we should see that the length of the frames is only three. Now I'm going to quit. So I press Q and we see images added, we see three. Uh, let's add also uh, a counter each time that we add an image so that we have a clue of how many images we are adding to the frame. And so each time we add a new image with the letter A, we can say print adding new image. And uh, we can also count how many images we have in real time. So we can say image count is zero. And each time we add a new image, we say image count plus or equals one. And so we can say add new image and then add new e add new image and then let's show the count and the image count let's run this one more time uh, let's see how it is okay i press spacebar a few times and now i press letter a we see add a new image and now we have one so we have the count each time we add a new image we have uh, the count saying how many images we've got till the moment. And now let's press Q. And let's see now the second step, save. So the second step, let me put a comment, save, give animation. And it's really simple. We use the, e, uh, the library image IO and we use this to save the file. So to save the file, we do with image io dot get rider and we need to put only two parameters in this case first we need to uh, choose the name of the file that we want to save and i will call this one smiling dot gif then the mode equals and capital letter i of course, this image I/O library it's uh, it's used also not only for the gifs but also for different things with images. So we need to define mod capital letter I to say that we want to save multiple images in just one file because that's what the gif is. Gif is a multiple images together which shows an animation. So get writer as writer, and then. On each now we have a loop uh, so we don't have a loop now we need to loop through the frames and each time we get the new frame we need to add the frame to the GIF file for frame where do we have the frames we have the frame store in this variable so for frame in frames and then we can print adding frame Mm, adding frame to give file and then let's do <laughs> uh, uh, writer dot append data and then we want to append what the frame Um, let's do a quick test and then later we will fix a few things that need to be fixed and you will see why and what. So let's try this one. I'm going to run the Python file and let's uh, add a few frames with letter A. So we are now with 14 frames. It's enough now to stop the execution of uh, OpenCV, I'm going to press Q, uh, Q to quit. And then after that, we have the saving of the GIF file. Uh, to make sure that this is working correctly, we're going to see the folder where we have the Python code. 
and this is the folder where I have the file saved. So we see smiling.gif, I open this one, and this is the GIF file saved. Of course, probably you notice something that the color are not quite right. They are completely wrong. And this is because we're using OpenCV to load the frames, while we're using the, a different library, Image.io, to save the GIF file. And we need to consider that they use a different image format. OpenCV uses the BGR format, which is blue, green, and red, while Image.io uses the BGR, uh, sorry, the uh, RGB format, which is red, green, and blue. So it's the blue and the red are the opposite. So we need to correct this one before saving the frames. So let's do that. Uh, we do that before saving the frame. So it will be uh, RGB frame equals a cv2.cvt color. What do we want to convert? We want to convert frame. Then how do we want to convert the frame? Uh, we have cv2.color underscore bgr. So we're conver uh, converting from the bgr format to the RGB format. So we have color underscore BGR to RGB. From blue, green, red to red, green, blue. And then writer dot append and then we append the RGB frame. Uh, I'm going to add some other printing to have this more clear. So once we know how many images added, we start with print saving GIF saving GIF file. And then also let's have a count on each time we're adding the image so that we know on, uh, each, each time we see adding frame to GIF file, we can make here the count. So we can say enumerate frames. And then we have count, uh, let's say index idx frame and then adding frames to a gif file and we have uh, we have the index plus one because it starts counting from zero of course the we cannot have uh, no images so index plus one that's why we have this count uh, and let's now run this and everything should be fine Okay, so let's create uh, a, a nicer GIF than before. I will get closer to the camera and then I will say hi. So let's try making that one. Mm. Oh, 26 images, quite a lot. Um, Let's see how this works. I'm going to quit. And we have adding the frame in real time to the GIF. And let's see now how this works so far. And this is our GIF animation, which is working really well. And it was done in real time using the camera. Of course, you can do this using not only the camera, but also a video file or different images that you have in a folder. And to do that, you need just to, uh, instead of saving the frames each time on the while loop from the camera, you can do that from a video. So for the video, instead of zero, you can use here the video path of the file. So video path dot mp4, whatever is the name of the video, you put the entire path and you will load the video instead of the frames. If you have images into one folder, you should load all the images one after the other, but we will not dive deeper into that one right now. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you got useful information from it. Uh, if you're a student, a freelancer, a developer, or owner of a company, you need more advanced services like uh, consulting services or more advanced courses, please check out the website pysource.com. This is all for today. See you on the next week on the next video. Bye.